Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome to TT Isle of Man. This is a motorbike simulator based on the Isle of Man TT racing series. Now, you can win this game if you come down to my Discord server, there's a link to it uh, in the description below. You have until the 22nd of June 2021 to enter the giveaway so you can win this game. But if you miss it, don't worry, I do monthly giveaways, so it's just a great uh, Discord server to come and join. We talk about simulation games and of course there's those giveaways, so really great place to be. But today let's do some like gameplay and first impressions of uh, this game. So yeah, this is based on the Isle of Man TT series. Uh, there's a 37 mile racetrack around this island um, off the coast of the UK. And yeah, it's really, really famous. Well, probably the most famous motorbike race in the world. Um, but yeah, let's go for it. So solo, you've got a career, which is quite similar to the ones you have um, in the kind of careers you see in F1 Codemasters games. Uh, so yeah, you, you, got, you can browse shops, you can buy all these different amazing bikes. Um, how much money do I have? 23 grand. Well, we're not going to buy a, a bike right now. Uh, specifications. Oh, look at that. 190 kilograms. Oh, that's so cool. Right, okay. What, what did I have? Sorry? See, 133 horsepower and 190 kilograms. That's crazy. And it's like 300 kilometers per hour nearly. Oh, wow. Um, okay, so let's go to next race. So I've got a Honda CBR 600 RR. Um, I don't know what the next race is, but uh, let's do it anyway. So we're going to do one of these, one of these races, and then we're going to move on to... Uh, I'm going to show you the Isle of Man TT course. Is this a race, or what is this? Oh wow, look, I've got a pink... I've got a pink uh, racing suit on. Okay, so I'm using an Xbox One controller. We've got different views. Oh, we need to brake. Now I'm using the combined brake mode, which basically means the front and rear brake is, is like bound to the same trigger. Ooh. There you go. I've got the racing line on. I'm not, I'm not brilliant at this. I'm quite early on. Now I did play MotoGP 19. It's worth remembering this game is a couple of years old now. There is a newer version, but it's quite expensive, so this is the only version I have. Oh, we should have changed down then. So we're like, ooh! You can crash, and it's very easy to crash. There we go. Well, this, that view's cool, but let's go to a different view. Ooh, don't let's mess it up, mess it up. Okay, stick close to the... Uh, ooh, don't hit it, ooh! Ooh, ooh! Okay, we're alright. So you can do wheelies and stoppies and stuff, but uh, that's not going to get you, you know, moving fast, is it? Break later than I should have there, but that was actually quite good. You know what? I actually think that first person helps more, so I'm going to go into it. Here we go. Down to first, yes. We've got four laps. I don't know where we're going to come. See, so yeah, I played MotoGP 19. It's a fun game, but um, this just feels a little bit more raw. Like, if you see what I mean, like you're actually like racing around like urban areas, a bit like the TT is, and it just feels much more down to earth, less sort of like clinical. I don't know. If you if you enjoy motorbikes, games like this and Ride, I think it's called, are really really. Uh, really good. I'm more into cars, to be perfectly honest, but motorbikes, I mean, there is, you know, there's, n there's, no, com there's no comparison. The amount of power and raw sense of speed you get from riding a motorbike. But obviously it's quite a dangerous thing, you know, there is a, um, a number of deaths on the Isle of Man TT. And, you know, the people that ride those motorbikes are just absolutely fearless. You don't really need to brake around that corner. Oh, we're spinning out. We're going to hit the wall. We're going to die. Oh, dear. There you go. That is going to affect our time. Um, okay, we've actually got a few views. 
Come on, go quick. Come on. Ooh. The, combi the combined brake mode is good. Whoa, we hit that. Um, it means you have a lot of braking power. No. Not unless you do that. Okay. The first couple of laps were good, but now I've just absolutely thrown it away. Right, brake lakes. Here. The braking line is really cool, it really does help. It's like dynamic, it changes. Oh! Right, what do we think? There's there's only like six races in this, but where am I gonna come? Come on. Yes. This is really cool, we're driving for a container port. Wow. It's like a GTA online race. Ooh. Yes. Right, and across the finish line, here we go. Sending data. Oh! Okay. What am I going to do? That They're still running. If I press continue, what's going to happen? <gasps> we won! We actually won! Yes! Matt LeBon. Oh, wait, we beat that guy for 20 seconds. Nice. I could probably turn the, um, that's got flawless victory achievement for that. I could probably have a, um, credit. I've got, I got 6k prize money. I can buy a new bike now. Maybe like a, a Triumph? Can I afford that? Yes, I can. Boom. Oh, yes. Um, okay, so look at the bike collection. So I've got this super bike. Another super bike. This is more powerful. It's got yeah, it's got better stats. So that's good. We made a good purchase. Um, I don't know if I can. Oh yeah, so there's different classes. The super super bike is the fastest. Um, castle ring mass start. Should we do that as well, or should we move straight on to um, Neil Moore Snaefell Mountain Course? Well, I want to choose that one, then. So, there we go. We'll do the next event. On the Triumph. And then after that, we'll go to the Snaefell Mountain Course. Now, it does take a long time to get around the course, actually, but... Um, it's, it's huge. It's 37 miles. So that's longer than the Nürburgring. And they've completely redesigned... Like, not redesigned. They've completely designed the whole course in the game. It's amazing. Really good detail. Okay, here we go. Oh, listen to this thing. Whoa, it's quick. It's quick, it's quick, it's quick. Oh, we hit a mailbox. Right, can we catch up now? Yeah, the graphics are quite good. I'm getting perhaps a, a, a little bit of stuttering with the FPS, but it's generally quite smooth. Um, yeah, pretty impressive. The bike physics are good. Um, the sound design is great. Although, to be honest, I haven't heard any of these cars in real life, or like any, seen any videos of them driving around, so yeah. I'm wondering what difficulty setting I've got these guys on because they don't seem to be going amazingly quick, do they? The three lap race. Oh! Rowan Watt is, um. 
ahead. Whoa, that, that bike's tiny compared to mine. Basically, if you don't crash and you keep the speed up, you can do quite well. I think all of the maps are set in the UK as well, so... Look at that waterfall, though. Right, here we go. Try and go for the overtake. Come on. Lap two. There we go. Yeah, on the Art of Man course, they're doing... Woo! They're doing like a 200 miles an hour sometimes. And they've also got sidecars, and I believe there's DLC for that. It might be in the other game, the, t uh, the, the sequel. But um, there's definitely some... The developers have definitely made a sidecar DLC for something. So... Ooh, brakes. Down to first gear. I mean, this bike has five gears. It might even have six. I haven't tried to see if there's a six. Back in first person. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Well, we're alright. Oh! Damn it. I'm messing it up. I should, I should just follow the guide. There's no excuse not to. Air brakes. Right, let's tear through this town at... Ooh! 200. Come on. Oh, don't hit that. Yes, there we go. Right. There's six gears. There's actually six. Whoa. When I changed gears, then the game didn't like it. There was just like stuttering, but yeah. Right. Come on. Last lap. And then we're going to the TC, TC course. Oh, you hit me. I think I might be able to... Get back into first. With any luck. Yeah, maybe, maybe some optimization needed, but uh, at least it stays over 60. Right, come on. We're going, we're going, we're going. Whoa! Nearly caused him to crash. I think he actually might have. It's hard to say because you can't look behind. Oh, you can. There you go. Is that him? I think it is. Yeah. No, come on. Every time. Will I be able to catch this guy up? That's the question. Yes. That was good, right. Last corner. All right. There you go. Finish line. Sending data. 
So there are like online leaderboards and stuff. We won that. Nice. No, we. Oh. I might have got a penalty or something. Oh no, that was fastest lap. Okay, we did win then. Yeah. Um. Okay. Fantastic. So next race should be on the calendar. April 23rd. Wait. Yeah, next race is the, is the, is the Isle of Man. So we'll get back on the uh, Triumph. We might as well buy, uh, use the new bike we bought. So this is going to be a section of the TT course. Here we go. It's just a short section. Um, but it, it will hopefully, 7.7 kilometers actually, it's not too short. Hopefully this will show you exactly what this game is all about because this is the main event. Even though there are all those different, you know, other, other tracks, the main thing is the full recreation of the real world Isle of Man TT course. Here we go. Let's not crash. So it's narrow. There's walls to hit all, all around. There's spectators everywhere. No traffic, well... Thankfully. I've actually been to the Isle of Man, like many years ago, and um, there's no speed limits outside of towns, so people in cars and bikes just go really quick. Now you, you really can't hit the curbs, because if you hit the curbs, yeah, not good. Oh, we're all right. Wow. So yeah, maybe the um, hope. Well, I, I haven't really looked into it much, but maybe at some point I will look into the second version of this game, the sequel. Um, and when I do that, I, you know, we'll have to see, are the graphics any better? Is the optimization any better? Is there more content? Um, from what I've driven around this, and I've been to the Isle of Man, and I recognise places, it's really spot on. The amount of vegetation and detail, uh, the road surfaces look really good. Uh, it's, it's just a brilliant recreation. I love real world tracks in games. I don't really like how racing games always have like um, race tracks, right? And also you get them down the bottom left there, can you see that? Glen Helen. You get the names of all the corners and the zones and like the regions you go through. So um, if you wanted to, you could like note them down and then have a look at online on like Google Street View and compare them because it's, it's amazing. They got it absolutely spot on. I hope I'm doing well here. We can open it up now. We're going quite quick. There you go. Over the line. Right, so we did a 2.36. Oh, 20 seconds ahead of Stanley Orochimaru. And Rowan Warwick and Matt Hines. I don't think Maxine Priceless. It's a weird name. Um, I don't know if any of these people. I mean, my name is just not actually my name. I'm well, called Jack, but other than that, that's just my username. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, so there you go. That was TT Isle of Man. I really, really love this game. Um, and I hope if you win it um, in the giveaway, you 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 love it too. So yeah. Let's go to a time attack on the whole course, just to finish off. And we can choose maybe a super bike, one of the really fast ones, like a BMW. There you go. Yeah, I hope if you win it, you love it too. And uh, basically, um, yeah, you've got until 22nd of June to enter that giveaway. So yeah, as I prepare to ride off into the sunset around the Isle of Man, uh, I will say my, gu my goodbye. So yeah, come and join the Discord server. And I will see you soon. For some more 
Simulator Adventures. Right, let's see how fast this baby can go. Right through the centre of Douglas, the um, start of the Isle of Man. Oh, yes. Ooh. Oh, no! Oh, well. Hopefully you can drive a little bit better than I can. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more content from my channel and check out these videos to see more simulation gaming on Simulator Adventures.